Buffalo State Park. Um, this is one of Pennsylvania State Parks that is really special to me. Um, when I was a kid, we always came here for like overnight camping trips, weekend trips. Um, I came here with the Girl Scouts one time, came here for birthday parties. It's just like a really cool place. They have an awesome splash pad and pool. So um, we're taking our goddaughter, the last hurrah of the summer, I guess. Um, and we're headed to Little Buffalo to camp one night and then we're gonna go to the pool all day tomorrow. I'm, I'm really excited. The camper has been sitting for a few weeks, well, close to well, almost a month and a half now since we've been home from our big trip and I had drained the water when we got home and stuff but that being that it was sitting for so long and the temperatures and stuff it was needed to sanitize our tank so one of the things that we do to sanitize is we use about they say you can the solution is about a half cup or a cup of bleach to 50 gallons of water our tank on our camper is only about a 40 gallon tank so I am doing about a half a cup of water not quite a half cup of water of bleach. Uh, I'm just gonna pour it right in uh, and then put water to it, fill it up real good. And then what I'll do is I'll end up running the kitchen sink and the bathroom sink for probably a good half hour, get that bleach to run through all the lines and all that. The shower I'm not too worried about because we're not really drinking out of the shower water at all. So after that, we'll drain the, completely drain the, the whole system and we'll fill it with fresh water. I'll do that again where I run the sink and the bathroom sink for about a half hour to make sure any residue, residual bleach is out of the line so it's safe for drinking. Yeah. So that's about what we're gonna do today. So you can get Clorox or bleach, it's the same thing. Uh, we just have, I don't even know, just a generic bleach, but like I said, I'm gonna do about a half cup a bleach to a 40 gallon tank and rinse it real good. check make sure my valve is closed or this whole process becomes about worthless. I'll take my fancy hose filler upper, that thing I had built on a previous video, put that in, open her up, go turn the water on. And let her fill. So while our water fills, I'm gonna go get some firewood together, like we do every trip. I haven't really been over here for a little while, so hopefully there's no snakes making a nest here. full. Gonna go in the camper, turn our water pump on, turn the faucets on, let the water start running. So this one was running kind of slow. So they have, faucets have aerators on them and sometimes you need a, a wrench or something to uh, take them apart with. I was able to get this one with my finger. It goes right, it just screws in right there like that. And it keeps the water from doing this. See how it's just kind of going everywhere. It kind of controls the flow a little better. So I noticed it was running light. So I pulled that off and all that gunk was backed up into here. So if your camper has been sitting for a while and honestly add it to your monthly, maybe a couple times a year maintenance, Take your aerators off your faucets and clean them out of all that gunk. Because whenever you're at different campgrounds and stuff, you never know what kind of water you're getting. Aerator back on. 
nice steady flow water. Had the faucets running for about a half hour or so. Actually, it was closer to like 40 minutes. So the bleach should definitely be in the, have been run through the lines pretty decent. So now I'm draining the fresh water tank which left in there. And once that's drained, I'm gonna put the hose back in and fill up with fresh water and run the sinks for about another 45 minutes to clean out any bleach that's left in the lines. Let's get a, let's get a visual of the cheese.